Yo yeah, mate, so uh, purples, welcome to the black hole. My name is Bless Beats. Welcome to my new segment here. I call it the Investments News, where we talk about everything from Nasdaq to Dow Jones, pa paperclip, document, spreadsheets, <clears throat> and mar market share increases, document, ownership deals, numbership assistance, and things of that nature. It came to my attention to a fellow friend of mine in the black hole our discord community brash if you want to become a friend of brash too by the way you can join us in the discord it is pretty dangerous and i think it's interesting because it's regarding native instruments and if you don't know what native instruments is i don't know what the fuck you're doing on my channel to be honest according to youtube i am their bitch and i like them these here news can potentially affect the outcome of the future of us native instruments users in q2 or q3 or maybe it was q1 of last year there was some discussion about you know layoffs at native instruments leadership changes reformatting methods working peoples at uh, native instruments there's a lot of text here you're probably not interested in reading through the whole text here what happened last year is some people were concerned because they were laying people off thinking is this a bad business year right now for native instruments why do they have to do this what is bringing them to this business business decision co-founder and sale daniel hava he took a step down to make room for new blood new blood means new decisions new business partners new leadership new ways of working and we have to remember here business really essentially is a group of people collaborating together in ways more or less effective and to the benefits of certain people and to the less benefits of other certain people now machina i'm most interested in what's going to happen with that and again back to the layoffs business has apparently been blooming for native instruments so it's not about a company going south it's just new people, new generation, new taking over. This big man things is happening right here. The original founders, even though they stepped down from their day-to-day -day CEO activities with business suitcases, portfolios, office tasks, etc., they're still founding shareholders of the company. And EM, e, EMH partners are some other shareholders of Native Instruments. And the big news here, right about around here today, is that a major tech investment company called Francisco Partners have purchased pretty much a majority of their shares in the company in native instruments. Francisco Partners, a leading global investment firm that specializes in partnering with technology businesses. And that means they're in no way specialized in this niche per se. In fact, let's take a look at some other partners that Francisco's partnering with. I don't see any audio related shit in here, you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> the experience is not there, but all they have to do is dump the money into the company, really make sure the right competence is in place. So this does not mean that the company is going south. In fact, they want to propel it to new levels, of course, because they want to make more money. Lately, it seems like native instruments have become much better at realizing that listening to the users is a modern thing to do. All I could do is keep my fingers crossed and hope we don't get a Jack Tremiel Atari situation here when he just comes in and sacks Nolan Bushnell from out of there, you know what I'm saying? But we are talking about 50 million euros right here. That's a lot of money. Followed by a further investment in 2020 to achieve majority ownership in the company. And in quarter three, that's when they're gonna do this final investment that secures the bag for them, you know what I'm saying? Native Instruments, they've seen a lot of growth lately emh stepped in with some major data visualization came into the picture in 2017 with some investments and that's been a huge success actually because check them around right here revenues and in native instruments music creation tools increased by 60 percent since their investment monthly active users more than doubled to 1.5 million by the end of 2020 and industry partners on native instruments technology platforms increased by 60 percent cementing the company's global technology leadership so right now they're in a good place last year there was already a lot of talk about the future goals of the company what are the excel documents telling us right here 
is telling us that they want to create an end-to-end user-centric platform for the music creation industry. Now, this is the big question mark right here. This is what the fuck I'm wondering about. Rash said, I'm 100% sure they're making a DAW where all the native instruments, plugins, products can live as one big, happy, perfectly integrated family. Matter of fact, we can read right here that the probable next step is tying together machine complete and tractor into a cohesive ecosystem of services, software, and hardware. But does this really mean that they're becoming more doleful? I think, re read this, all right. Company wants to consolidate its products and industry influence to, into a singular platform for seamless music making experience. And I already indicated that it's going in this direction with the launch of Native Access and the Sounds.com audio library. There was a lot of talk about this last year already. I personally think it's leaning more towards an online type of solution. What are all the other tech companies doing? Uh, movies and series and shit. Pay for a subscription and get access to all you want, a all you can eat buffet. Shit. What are the music streaming services doing? Pay for a subscription, get access to a all you can listen to buffet. This technology we're talking about here. They could indeed be making a DAW, but I really hope not, because that would be such a waste of time. There are so many good DAWs out there. In that case, you better put some more resources on that machine bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where I wanna go with this, I know you came here for my business expertise, <clears throat> documents, folders, investments portfolios, suitcases, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows NT, Power BI, Pandas, data analysis. But what this video is really for, what this special, very special breaking news video is for, I just wanna know what you think is gonna happen. Are we going to see a DAW or is it going to be another fucking subscription platform? Which could be a pretty cool thing. I mean, if you're paying for all you can eat native instruments buffet, that is some damn good food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, bye-bye.